There isn't a term to describe what we are. It's deeper than the obvious. She forces me to think about what kind of life I would want to look back on in 25 years and 25 years from now. She had these eyes that, that smiled when she did. She is the fun one. Her hair, a soft series of soft, perfect ringlets with a deep brown mocha, with these specks of mysterious onyx that literally bounced with life when she laughed. And what a talker. I mean, always inquisitive and adding value to the conversation. She is the mom, my role model, <laughs> keeping me in check, on my toes, at my best. She's my inspiration. We were mirrors of each other. What bond is closer than feeling a life being created intricately inside you, growing inside you and with you? What bond is closer than, than two hearts beating in a symphony? There is none. Sadness is a ghost hanging around your body, swallowing you whole, so you dream about how you wish things were, how things could have been, and when you wake up, it just makes your illness that much worse. Sadness is a way of life, a, a disease, spread by just a simple look, a fucking conversation. And when you notice someone's secret tears, it eats at you until your pieces shattered in the dark, trying to pull yourself together. But the infection is in your veins. It's uncurable and it never leaves. Sadness is your lost memories, distracted and confused. You miss the good times, but you can't get them back. And yeah, memories fall off, but sadness never does. It hangs above your head, and when you start to forget, <laughs> you breathe it in, you inhale it deep, and once again, you are haunted. I never expected such a large blow to my face, such an ache in my heart. Maybe it was my fault. Maybe, maybe it was me who didn't try hard enough. And if that was the case, there are not enough words I can use to reprimand myself for being too proud, being too bold. If I had known how many long, agonizing nights could have been spared, I would have bent over backwards not wanting to miss a single second when you spoke to me. I hope it's true, what people say about not realizing how much you love someone till they're gone. Now that I look back at all the memories we've shared, I regret taking all of them for granted. I will always and forever keep you close to my heart whenever and wherever I might be. I don't need an apology, and I don't need a goodbye. Sometimes I think I was painted in dust, born of the drought. My thoughts are all in shades of brown that look the same from every angle. And I wonder if I was ever part of the colored world at all. The rest of the world spit by me in a mess of rich sunsets. They left me static, stop motion and stuttering. Somewhere along the way, I took a wrong turn. I ended up lost in coffee-stained pages and film grain. I curled in on myself like a bug trapped in amber to wish for heavy roses, crimsons, and raindrops like rubies to wash the dirt from my eyes. These days I dream of crushing red cherry that suffocates blooms like flowers on a headstone. I dream of one color and one color only. Because when it comes down to it, red is the only color I understand. No one bleeds sepia. It's easier for you to walk than to stay by my side through all the pain. It's easier for 
you to look away than to see the depths of my despair. It's easier for you to ignore me than it is to talk about the things that are important. It's easier for you to hate me for what I do than it is to love me for who I am. Maybe one day you'll realize what is easy is not always the best. Maybe one day you'll realize that ignoring me makes the pain worse. Maybe one day you'll realize that hating me is worse than the things I do, but until then, you will continue to hurt me to the core of my existence. I want to make you stay by my side, make you be there with me through all the pain. I want you to make you look at me, make you see the depths of my despair. I want to make you pay attention to me, make you talk to me about the things that are important. I want to make you stop hating the things I do, make you love me for who I am. Since I can't make you do anything, I will ask you for one thing. Will you be crying for me? Will you see you're too late to help? Will you realize all I wanted was someone to understand me? Someone to help me, someone to talk to, someone to love me. From this point forward, I will not stand to be unhappy any longer. From this point forward, I am inspired. Independent. From this point forward, I am you. From this point forward, I am indestructible. One day, I will look back and whisper to myself, those was the days.